Happy Easter and welcome to the weekly Celtic worship podcast. This podcast engages and reflects on timeless prayers, readings, and blessings from the early Celtic Christian church, all helping formulate a posture of worship for us today. My name is Luke Gamble, and I am so grateful you are listening to the podcast today. Today is Easter Sunday, and this is the day believers worldwide celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And with this, maybe you have some traditions that happen each Easter Sunday. Perchance, um, are you indulging today in these traditional Irish culinary options? Some might have pancakes potted herring, hot cross buns, roasted eggs, or how about potato and leek soup, roast spring lamb, or even chocolate eggs? Maybe, just maybe, some of these are on your plate today. At the end of this week's podcast, keep listening for Freedom Slave Hymn from Katie Music out of Northern Ireland. It's a super song for today. Let us begin our time in worship for this Easter Sunday with an ancient Celtic prayer. We worship on the day of the Lord's resurrection. To our triune God, we ought to bring pause and thanks from the heart, asking his mercy that in spirit and body, we may share in the blessed resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, beginning with verse 11. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. We now join Christians past and present and from all over the world in proclaiming our faith with this, the Ionian Creed. We believe in God above us, maker and sustainer of all life, of sun and moon, of water and earth, of male and female. We believe in God beside us, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, born of a woman, servant of the poor, tortured and nailed to a tree. A man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, He died alone and forsaken. He descended into the earth to the place of death. On the third day, he rose from the tomb. He ascended into heaven to be everywhere present throughout all ages. And his kingdom will come on earth. We believe in God within us. The Holy Spirit burning with Pentecostal fire. Life-giving breath of the church. Spirit of healing and forgiveness, source of all resurrection and of eternal life. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now let us join our hearts together with a traditional Celtic prayer for Easter. My Christ, rise in glory, scattering the darkness before your path. The Son of Sons, the Eye of the Great God, the Eye of the King of Hosts, is rising upon us gently and generously. Welcome, glorious Son, dawn of a new day. Glory to you, Son of the Most High, human face of God, laboring with us spending your life for us, cross-bound to set us free. Amen. Finally, a traditional Irish blessing for Easter. At the breaking of the Easter dawn, may the risen Savior bless your home with grace and peace from above, with joy and laughter and with love. And when night is nigh, and when day is done, may he keep you safe from all harm. Thank you for joining us here at the Celtic Worship Podcast. Links and other information for today's podcast can be found in the episode notes. And as I mentioned earlier, our song of the week is Freedom Slave Hymn by Katie Music out of Northern Ireland. If you'd like to learn more about this song or Katie Music, a link to them can be found in the episode notes. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe or like the podcast, as well as telling a friend or two about it. Have a most blessed Easter, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another time of worship here with the Celtic Worship Podcast. cross has gone his closest friends are scattered triumphant welcomes distant fate God's earthly rule seems shattered where oh God is the justice here for those who longed to
glorious prince of life does more than teach examples as he ascends to his throne above all sin and hell I trampled where oh death is your victory since Jesus Come share the joy of an empty grave.